today I'm here with my friend Bandana Grandma who is visiting me from Maryland in my kitchen. Did you have fun? I'm having a ball. I love it here in Colorado. And I They've love never the been west. Mm -hmm. No, nope, got nope. to see the Rocky Mountains. I did. Beautiful. I did. They're beautiful. So she picked out hot pink pomegranate. We're gonna make hot pink pomegranate soap. So we're making a soap with a pink and gray swirl. Her web or not website YouTube channel is Bandana Grandma. The link is in the description below. Go check her out. She has all kinds of fun stuff: canning, cooking, faith, gardening, gardening, all kinds of fun stuff. Sewing, so so crocheting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she does a ton of organic gardening, showing how, you know, she kills the pesky poison ivy. <laughs> it's bad. It's I real know. bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're getting it. Okay, guys, we're going to get started. Okay, so here we go. Now, all of this is in my How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course. And here is Bandana Grandma's affiliate link for that. But... We're gonna walk you through because she's only made soap once and she was like, well, I wanna know how to do this. So that is what we're gonna do. So let me get the cameras turned down here so you guys can see. Now, have my trusty, dust, trusty scale here. <clears throat> I went to soapcalc.net and I put in my weight for my oil so I'll know how much lye to have, okay? Now, I'm not gonna be able to walk you through the whole way to do soap calc on here. That's on my e-course, so you can grab it there. Um, it's, it's a learning curve, but it's not horribly difficult, okay? So, you're gonna take your scale and you're gonna tear it. Now, what does tear mean? Right here, tear just brings it back to zero so that you can add one thing, push tear, then measure the next thing. That's how I measure my oils, okay? Now, for this recipe, we need, we are doing full water. Oh wait, except you're wanting to pipe. No, we're not going to do full water for piping because here's a little tip. Full water, no it's okay is um, full water is what, what you use to do swirls and stuff, but for piping, I make my water a little bit low, so about 35%, which isn't horribly low, but it's a little That's bit less. That's the ratio of water to, to lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the reason why you do that is so that the piping will set up mm -hmm. quicker. So we need 5.76 ounces of lye. Okay, so I'm going to measure that now. Yep, measure that now. Five point what? Six ounces. Here is where I get my lye from. Because I get this question every single time. Get it from... Okay, now I need to take itty bitty bit out. How much did you go over? Five point ten. And what did I say? Five point six, I thought. Seven six. 5.7, oh, so I keep going. Yep, oh. add just a little bit more. Okay. I must. I may have misspoke since I'm doing three things at once here. <laughs> 2 oh. Looking good, looking three good. 5, 4 oh. 4 5. Good morning, five, Amanda. Oh. Coffee time, happy 4th of July. 6, 5. Now I'm getting nervous. 7. That's close enough. Yeah, it's okay. It's close enough. Um, yes, yeah, so tear is the difference. So, like if you, thank you, Mr. Rain, if you put your bowl on here, there's a weight to the bowl, of course. So, when you tear it, the bowl weight is removed and it's only the weight of the product, okay? Mm -hmm. And my lie comes in buckets like this from Essential Depot. Love it, love it, love it. Now, next, we are going to measure. Because I'm from Kansas, our water. <laughs> yeah, I catch that I every know. time you say it. How do you say it? I don't measure. 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 And you say what? Measure. Measure. <laughs> measure. We're Is going it to measure. May M E A. I don't know. Okay, so then we need 14 ounces of distilled water. 14 ounces. Uh -huh. I can do this. 
Woohoo, Amanda quit budgeting and only spent $300 last month on groceries. Wow. Yay, good job. Good job, good job. Getting close, we're almost there. A little bit more. <laughs> I hate going over. Uh, it's okay. There. Now, Ooh, here's the thing. Even. Yep, 14 yeah, even. It, 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 now, it, here's it. the thing, guys. It's best if you can get right on. But if you're a point one to five ounces off, it's really not going to make a huge difference by any stretch of the imagination. Okay? Okay, so now you're going to slowly pour your lye into your water. And you always pour the lye into the water, never the water into the lye. Yes. That much I remember. Always the lie into the water. And just slowly do it while you're stirring. Kind of stand back a little bit so the fumes don't get to you. You can do it outside if you want. Oh yeah, I had um, a coffin when I did this one. We before. can't actually do that since we're going live, but... Woo! <laughs> yep, there goes the fumes. Now, I will say that Essential Depot sells really... <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> really fresh lye so it it is a little more potent so if you want to do it outside so i'm going to go immediately and rinse out my lye bucket okay you all right i'm okay. going to just leave the spoon in there <coughs> okay leave the spoon in mm -hmm. all right and it is getting hot yes so now when you rinse out your lye buckets what you can do is um Rinse them at, in your bathroom sinks and it will take care of. I think we got the fan going. Right? The hair. <laughs> Do we have the fan. Oh, the fan's coming towards us. That's yeah. right. I'll turn it around. Okay. I'll blow it towards my husband. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is I have a bucket of ice water here. And to move this process along, we are going to put our lye in our bucket of water to get it cooled down a lot quicker. Otherwise, it would need to sit probably about 30 minutes or so to cool down, I would say. Okay, next, we're gonna measure our fragrance. So we are doing two and a half pounds of oils for this. This is gonna be my new, I think this is the one, oh. my new mold for my uh, new soap supply store that's gonna be opening in a couple of weeks. Um, this is a great silicone mold, love it. We're gonna test it here again. Two and a half ounces, you wanna use, or two and a half pounds, you wanna use about one ounce, a half to one ounce per pound of oils, okay? And we're using two and a half oil, two and a half pounds. So you want about two and a half ounces, right. okay? Sounds right. So when you're, when you're wondering how much to use, if it's a really strong fragrance, you can use a half an ounce. If you want it stronger, you can do one ounce per um, one ounce per <laughs> pound of oils is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, is we are blurry. Pretty? Really, we're blurry. That's weird. It's mine? not. It's not blurry on my computer. That's really strange. All right, went over hmm. a Copy time. I just made my first cold process soap ten days ago, and it was not as scary as I thought it would be. It's really not. Yeah, it's, it's really not. Hey, Stacy the Sparkling Star. Okay, so we got our oils, uh, our fragrance oil measured out. Now, measured out. <laughs> now, let me show you, can you see how yellow this fragrance is? Now, fragrances vary in their colors. And it will affect the color of your and soap. And it will affect mm -hmm. the color of your soap. Mm -hmm. So if you have a soap that you're going to make blue, and you have olive oil and a slightly yellow fragrance, fragrance mm -hmm. your soap is going to lean towards the green, gotcha. greener sides. Right. Okay, so why I say that is you might want to pick a fragrance that's lighter in color if you're making a blue soap. Does that what make sense? What if you pink? Pink, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. I haven't found that it discolors pink too um, drastically, so I think pink will be okay. Okay, so we have that in there. Now, I forgot to tell you, starting with our lye water started at about 190 and we're already down to 170. So putting it in the ice bath like this, I just have crushed <coughs> ice with some water. Mm -hmm. 
and I just have it set in there, okay? Now the containers you use to mix your lye, can you talk to me about that? Okay, so these are my cheapy 88 cents from Walmart. Okay, so just a plastic, heavy plastic? No aluminum, mm -hmm. plastic or stainless steel is best. Mm -hmm. And these I just get at Walmart for 88 cents and they all stack together. Now what I don't like about these is if you accidentally overflow, it comes down the edge. Right. I do not like that. And if I could find one that was solid, but they still stack together somehow, which I don't know how that would be possible, but mm -hmm. that would be ideal. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe if they just had the lid, I guess if they had the lid up lip a little yeah. bit higher, mm -hmm. that and would- Then the ounces, mm -hmm. ounce smokes, yeah. But since this is four cups, this is right about, you know, where you're always mm -hmm. about meeting. Mm -hmm. So that's where I get those. Mr. Ains says, no sniff of the chemicals, lady. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Ah, hello, Julie. My bud, Julie. She's the one that drove six hours to come see us from Georgia Aww. when we were. She is so sweet. We love Julie. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, um, let me just check to see if there's any. What do we got here? Okay. So, next, we're going to measure our... Oils, except, yes, I do need the other bucket. Okay. I forgot I was doing two and a half pounds. Okay, now we're going to measure the oils. Got something. Okay, that's on the bottom, just to make sure. We're pushing tear because I put my bucket here. Let me show you. All right, can you see it? There's my bucket weight. When I hit tear right there, it comes back to zero. Okay? All right, now. I have pre-mixed here my olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, castor oil, and almond oil. You're getting oiled. <laughs> now, this is my fancy schmancy recipe that this I is, use. This is one that you've come up with from your own use? This is one that I adapted from another Katie at Royalty Soaps had this recipe and I kind of changed it around a little bit, but that's where I originally got the recipe, was mm -hmm. from her. And I love it, she pipes great. Bandana wants to learn to pipe today. So, I pre-mixed it in the thing here, in my bucket, per the, per the you know, however much I need, I guess, I don't know how you say that. And. Oops, we're just going to add it to our bowl. We need two and a half pounds of already pre-mixed oil, okay? Now, what you can do... This will go up to pounds, it's on ounces yep. now. Right, it's on ounces, but let me change it to pounds so it's easier. There you go. Thank two you. And a, two and a half. Two and a half. Almost there. 2.345. Close enough. You need to go to eight because it's two pounds, five ounces, and a half a pound is eight ounces. Oh, you're right. There you go. Okay. Now, I pre mix all my oils because I make so much soap all the time. You don't have to pre mix your oils um, if you don't want to. Now, we are going to microwave the oils for just a bit to warm them up. Now, I soap at about 100 degrees, give or take. And why I do that is because it seems like a good even number, which sounds so dumb, but I don't mean even. I mean the things that happen with oils and lyes when they mix and they're either super hot or super cold seem to be negated. It's just kind of a good middle of the road temperature mm -hmm. to keep weird things from happening. So if your soap gets too hot, it can volcano, as you've seen in my stick blender hot process, well that can happen in your mold. And how you'll know it happens is it starts cracking. If it's got too hot, it'll start cracking. And then if it really gets bad, it'll just volcano up and over the sides. <coughs> and, and you don't want that for cold presses. Not, not normally. People don't normally do that on purpose, okay? 
If it's too cold, it can set up really quick. You can have other problems like that. So it just depends on how you like to sew it down. So you put it in about 48 seconds for your particular microwave. Yeah. You'll have to figure so out. So what, what I do is 30 second intervals. I just had a little bit left. Okay, so this is about 110. And my lye water is down to 138. So we need to go just a second, probably about How five more minutes. The lye water supposed to be? So you want them, the lye and the oils, about the same temperature. But if you get 10 degrees one way or the other for either of them, you're okay. okay. So like if my oil is 100, my lye water is 110, we're okay. If my oil is 100, my lye water is 90, we're okay. That's a general rule. I know soapers now, they're like, I just dump it all in. And they're fine. But I still am not confident enough with that that, you know, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to let this cool for just, it's going down pretty quick. But we're going to get our lye water, hopefully cool down here just a little bit more. We're at 128, 27. Okay, so let me grab some uh, comments here while we're waiting. Now, actually, let's not. Let me talk about molds for just a second. This is my silicone mold. Love this thing. I think it's great. I prefer to soap with silicone. You can, though, just use a regular box. Like a Velveeta box or something. A Velveeta box. You could use, like, um, a drawer organizer from the Dollar Tree. Line it with a Walmart sack turned inside out, a grocery sack oh. turned inside out, so just so the printing doesn't get on your soap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you use oh, just a box, just line it with a Walmart sack turned inside out or a grocery sack again. You can use freezer paper, and half of the soapers use freezer paper, half use silicone. I prefer not to use freezer paper. I think it's a pain sitting there measuring each one, cutting each one. I think that's a pain. So other soapers, they don't care. They sit and do 100 at a time and they're good. So it is a preference mm -hmm. thing. But I have used silicone so that's a, I started with the exception of my first batch and I've always loved it. So, okay, let's see. What do we got here? Um, is it a red, white, and blue soap? No. <laughs> no, J.D. Allison, not today. It's not. We are doing... I have a new bathroom. Uh-huh. And my new bathroom is gray and white with some pink trim. And so I thought... Why don't we make a soap to match my new bathroom? So we're doing gray, white, pink. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's what we're doing. So, yeah, we got that going. Okay, so I don't even want to know what that noise it was. It sounded like ice dropping in the ice maker. Oh, is that what it was? That's what it sounds like in my house anyway. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now, for lye, I get my lye at Essential Depot, and that's where I get it. But... If you don't want to buy a larger quantity or you just want to try it, go to your hardware store like Ace or a smaller one, like, you know, Ace type grocery store or hardware store. And they have little bottles of drain cleaner that is 100% drain cleaner. You look for 100% drain cleaner. So the people that poo poo that, that's because some drain cleaners have things other than just the lime. Some, yeah. yeah. Some drain cleaners will have metal in them. Some drain cleaners will have additives like baking soda, which actually really shouldn't mess up your soap that much. But, I mean, it shouldn't mess it up. But you never know for sure, so just make sure it's 100% lye on the bottle. And you're good. So, so is it lye as lye as lye as long as it's 100%? Yep. As long as it's the set. Yes, Amy T, we are wearing the same apron, different vegetables. One of my wonderful viewers sent me this. Mom got their dish towels, and she said, oh, you could make aprons. And I said, yes, I could. So I loved it. And I thought, well, it's the 4th of July. This is kind of American, isn't it, with the corn? And mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's see. Where are we at now? On... Diana, I soap at low temps, about 90 to 100. Works best for me. That's what I find. 
you know, like um, Kenny from Royal Appleberry, I think she told me she does room temperature and her soaps always turn out really nice. I think Katie from Royalty, I think, I'm not positive, I think she did room temperature too. So it's just kind of whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, Bob and Carrie Kennedy. Tip for new soapers and Tara. To remember your fragrance, put the measured fragrance glass in your mold so you see it before putting it in a mold. That's a great idea. The problem is I need to get a different container. <laughs> that's why I don't do it. Well, why don't you just put something in like that? Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. So here we go. Down. Got it in there, my little... Uh, that's so she know. doesn't forget to put her fragrance in. Yes. And, yeah. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, he's here. Okay, so we're at, sorry guys, we're at 111 and 103, so let's give it just a second more. We're going to get it probably like three more minutes, get a couple more questions. Uh, oh, okay. Um, just get a couple more questions here before we go. All right. Um, Bama Grits, exciting news. What's the exciting news? We need to know. Oh, Noah's Ark, 1962, a new grandbaby is coming. Oh, that's great. Um, Bob and Carrie, I use a glass shot glass for mine. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Mm hmm. Yep, that would be great. Um, would work. Yeah, Diana said, that's a great idea. I sometimes forget my fragrance oil or essential oil. You guys have seen me soap, you know. Yes, and those of you who are watching on my channel and don't know Living on a Dime, make sure you go subscribe to Living on a Dime. Yep. They have a wonderful channel. They do a lot of live streams, Mondays and Wednesdays at 6.30 Eastern Time. Yep. And Tara is a wealth of knowledge. She is the best soaper, and if you want to get her, her uh, e-course, yep. the link is here, Yep. and it's well worth it if you want to learn soap. She knows everything. You've got my e-course. So, don't you? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I do. Thought I sent it to you. Yep. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so check out my e-course. I've got all the basics in there. Okay, we're at 108 and 101. So I think that's probably close enough. All right, so let's get our cameras back down here so you guys can see what we're doing pouring our lye into our bucket okay stirring it with the met with the metal spoons okay yep okay. here why don't you use this longer spoon hold on just to get in here hurt your counter. so what do you have to be careful with when setting your spoons down on counters and things like that um so i try to always put everything in a bowl so that you don't have lye water just sitting on your counter. It can, um, <clears throat> we won't mention how I know, ruin your counters if you let it just sit on there. Uh, one time I had accidentally spilled some lye that I had sitting in a back corner. Did not realize it had spilled and it sat there for a while and ruined it, so yeah. Okay, so as soon as you pour, you rinse them out. I do. Okay. That is just my precautionary whatever that I do. So let's try scooting this back just a titch to see if it'll help focus better. Okay. Now can you tell us about saponification? So saponification is when the oils and lye come together. Saponification is the chemical reaction that happens that turns it to soap. Do I even want to know what that is? Mike? Can you see what that is, please? I don't know. Um, or we have the air. What do you mean? Don't touch it with soap. It's a new phone. I don't want to destroy like your computer. <laughs> Did you? We got that on camera. Did you hear that? Is it recording? I don't see numbers counting anywhere. They're counting down here. They're okay. counting down there. Okay. All right. Here we go again. Let's get back to this. I'm sorry, guys. My Thanks. goodness. So okay. My stick blender is super powerful. And it's almost actually too powerful. 
So what I do is I try to come up just a little bit without spewing it everywhere. Okay. Or turn the container on its side just a little bit. Okay. Now, you can see here, sorry, I was just trying to catch it. I thought it was falling. <laughs> you can see here, see how nice that looks beautiful. The colors have, the light and the dark have uh -huh. combined to make one color. So it has emulsified, this is called emulsification, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our fragrance, and we're just going to hand stir the fragrance for this one, because it's already getting a little thick, because we took a bit there to get stuff going. So it already started kind of setting up a little bit. Looking good. Yep. All right. Yep. Very good. Okay. Now, next what we're going to do is we're going to divide it into containers. Now, normally I would use this one to put like my white in, but because we are using a smaller batch this time, I'm going to divide, I'm going to dirty one more container and divide it into three because it's easier for the stick blender mm. when there's more soap in, in going up the stick. Okay. okay, does that make sense? Yes. All right, so we're gonna go and divide it. Now you're gonna want probably one part, one part, and two to three parts okay. of white. So if I have two quarts here, you so what I do? do math here. No, I'm not. What I'm gonna make you do is eyeball it. Okay. So what I do is I don't start want to put too much in the first one yeah. because so I start with about one cup and see how far that gets me. Yep. Okay. So that'll be pink. This will be gray. Let's do about one cup. I can't see the markings on this side. So we'll keep just... going near right there. Okay. And then here we'll do two cups because we're gonna pipe a white top. Okay. Keep mm -hmm. going. Keep going. You're doing good. Keep yep. going. Keep going. Okay. Now we've got a little bit left, so why don't you go ahead and go up to three with the white, or not, that's fine. Keep going, we'll add just a little bit more. Oh, three with the white? Yeah, but that's okay, you're already over here. So do um, about two. Two with this. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then here's your gray. So you go up to do two with this one, yep. Can you see the markings? Yeah, I can see it, you're doing good. Keep going, keep going, just a little bit, okay. And then the rest, we're just going to pour into the white, okay? And the spatula is over by you to scrape it out. Okay. All right. Doing good, doing good. Here's my soapy course again, guys, if you're interested. We still haven't figured out what we're doing for tonight's show. Got to figure that one out. You need the special yet? <clears throat> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our colors now. Yes, we use the special for that. One. Okay. So for your pink, this is the white. The most most is the white, pink and gray. So I would probably do this one has slightly more. So I'd probably do this one for your pink since okay. your bathroom's mostly gray. Mm -hmm. So put about, oh, start with about a quarter of a spoon. Yeah. Okay. Start Pretty good. This. Yep, you can stir it in if you want. Get it started. Now, do you want it pinker? Um, Not so pinker? Um, a little, can we put a little lighter in there? So you're wanting it more white? Yeah, just a little okay. more light. So, pink. now, this is my titanium dioxide that I already have pre-mixed, my white. I pre-mix it, and then I have a couple of marbles in here. 
and then I just shake it up and then when I need to use it I just pour in just a little squirt and then we can use the blender too in just a second and that'll make it a little bit more that's nice like that color okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put my white in here all right so here's our bowl And then I'm gonna put a little bit of white in for our gray. And then you're gonna take a tiny, tiny bit tiny tip. Of, of black to start. I would say even half of that just to start. Ooh. That black is pretty potent, yeah. So it's better to add less. I do want a light gray too. You know, yes, too so it's better to add less. Can you see that? It's like- See how tiny that it's is? It's like a pinch. Yeah, okay. truly a pinch. Let's do this first. Stick your spoon in there. Let's get a drop in there. That's okay. We can whip this up with the blender first, and then we will um, see if we want to make it darker. Okay. Okay. Now, start with your lightest color first. So we're going to go light, or we're going to go white, then light gray and then pink. Okay? Because of the color being on the blender. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can rinse in between if you want, but that just saves rinsing. Lift it up. easier to start dark lighter and go darker now wait a minute see how we have a little blob of powder here you want to take your stick blender lift it up and put it on top of the powder so it'll yep just like that stuck in it so lift it up mm -hmm. kind of tap it on the side just to get any there you go soak down and then try again what is happening inside but I try to not hit the blade yeah. I just kind of go around the edge because I poked a hole in my <laughs> oh, in, your glove? in my glove and yeah. I didn't know it yeah. one time and so then I got a little bit of a limer mm -hmm. now I'm gonna go wash my hands now that they're oily real quick 
Uh oh. What happened? My camera looks like it's not doing anything. So we got a couple of drops of green here, so we're just going to stir it in. It's not going to really matter, actually. Now, we can do this a couple of different ways. You can put the gray and the pink in together for um, to mix them. Or you can put one color in and then another color in and then another color in. What about your spoony sturdy thing? Mm -hmm. That's how I do it. I put one color in at a time and then spoon stir it. I like that. You like that idea? I think I, okay. think I can learn that in a day I, here. I think you can learn that. It's pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our piping bag set first, okay? So what you do is just leave the spoon in there. It'll be okay. Cut off a tip. Do you need a towel? Very hand oily. Just a little bit. Okay. So cut off the tip. How much? Mm, probably just a tad more. Yep, about right there. Measure, see if this will fit in there. I use disposable bags because it's just easier for cleanup. Hello, thank you guys for coming back up. And of course it flipped down upside down. That's okay. Okay, so we need to trim it off a little bit more. So just pop it back up there just a tad. Yep, don't drop it in your soap. There you go. Okay, there we go. So see how we have, yeah. You the show the teeth tip. are just peeking Pointing through out. the yep. plastic. Just poking out there. Okay. You didn't miss anything, Amy. We just stopped so that we could keep going. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the white and see how thick this is getting, which is lovely for piping. Okay. And we're going to put about half the white in here so it'll be setting up while we're putting the rest in, okay? Okay. Now, you want me to get you, hold on, let me make it easy for you. Don't do it the Tara way. Do it the way <laughs> real people should do it. So an easy way to fill your piping bag, which yeah. I never do, yeah, yeah. is like that. This makes sense. So it's just so much easier. Yeah. Right, so about half of this. Yeah, about, give or take. Because Susie really wants to work on piping, so we're going to do quite a bit of piping, hopefully. Yeah, I think. Should I answer your door? You got a VPA? Hi, Stranger is knocking. Yeah. Wait, this. Maybe one more. There you go. And that will give you a good amount of piping. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to set this to the side to let it get set up, okay? And then we're going to pour these in. Now, how I do it is I just take my spatula and I just start lopping it in. Okay. And then I take the spoon and stir it. In a line covering the whole bottom, what? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want. I'm saying in a line or covering the whole bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant you in a yes. line. I, <laughs> I thought you meant in a line like you were doing layers. Okay. Sorry. So cover the whole bottom. If you would like. Yeah. It's really up to you. So what if I just put it down the middle? What happens when you stir it on the edges? Then you can put your pink and your gray there, and then you can just stir it in. It would be really cool. Yeah. Okay. So all this goes in now? I would do part of it and then do part of your gray and your pink okay. and then do part white. Um, two family, it consists of actual big bars of soaps, my grab bag on my Etsy store where you can get my soaps, um, is large, regular sized uh, soaps, they're just, I have one or two left of them so I don't um, want to just relist them just for that. Alright, now pink next or? If you would like, yep. This is all up to you. Well, seeing how I have no idea how things turn out, I'm yeah. just playing with it here. Yep. And this looks more pourable than ploppable. Yes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. Because we added a little more, um, the titanium dioxide helps set it up. Okay, and I can put this on the sides or I can put it right up the middle. Yep, you can do any of those. Because we're going to swirl it with a spoon mm -hmm. to mix all the colors. Yep, you can do any of them. Here's where you can get my soaps, guys. Um, this is like, I'm getting ready to change soap stores, so I'm going to give you my, my Living on a Dime link. 
uh, go to this link at Living on a Dime, and then that will point you to my new soap store when I get it. Okay, now the other one. Yeah. And is there a color on that green one that I sh I mean, the gray, that green spatula, can I use that one? You can. Okay. Save us washing up. Yeah, Daryl, Cheryl's spending all her money. All right, so I put my my soap recipe in there for you guys. Uh, fragrance is pomegranate, hot pink pomegranate. Mm -hmm. it smells, smells really good. wonderful. Yeah. All right, now we just do it again, like layering. Yep. Let's do it again. We're doing good. Now I'm just checking comments. Is it possible to buy a stack of ends? The ADD in me likes switching soaps off and Nancy. Yeah, actually I could do that. We have a whole bunch of samples that we just got restocked. So can you email me, editor at livingonadime.com and I can set you up with um, a stack of samples. Yeah! <laughs> this looks like frosting. Ooh, Bama Grandma is making a rack of ribs. Yeah. Um, that's what I love, ribs. Looking good. You can have one on top of this. How many, how many, well, I'm out right of the white. Okay. So. That's fine. Just finish with the gray and the pink on top, and then we'll okay. have the white, white Piping. top. Yeah. Right. So it'll look really nice. Mm-hmm. Sorry, G. Cosper, we, our YouTube crashed on us, so we had to restart. Oh, man, a cool 4th of July. Actually, guys, we had snow on the 4th of July in Idaho one year. It was cool. It was pretty fun. It wasn't a ton of snow, but we had a few. Well, I'll tell you, uh, here, in Col of side, here in Colorado, Tara took me up to the 12,000 feet at the top of a mountain and on our way up we could see peaks that had snow on them in July mm -hmm. and she said that's normal around here oh, yeah. and when we and she said when we get up there you'll be able to touch it and I thought she was kidding me <laughs> but we got up there my husband made a snowball and threw it and I was amazed that yeah. it was so cool up there it would hold the snow on the peaks that's quite a ride going up there yeah, poor bandana grandma. I scared the tar out of her. <laughs> yeah, if you've ever been on that Fall River, Old Fall River Road, is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, Old Fall River Road. It's right on the edge of a cliff. No guardrails, no nothing. <laughs> and you're just twisty, turny dirt road going up the side of a cliff for like nine miles. Yeah. And it, it was a little unnerving, but it was so beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now you're doing all the fancy fine, but did you want to spoon stir it? I do. Okay. I hope I don't mess it up. I don't want it. I don't want to do it too much, so it's too. You, you know what I mean? Yep. Let me clean this off so it doesn't drop on your counter. It's okay. Should I? I would put them. Let me show you something here real quick that I do. Um. So when I have when I have soap left in containers like this. I really, really scrape it out, and I get a whole nother sample bar. Oh, cool! When I scrape everything off, so I just scrape it all in there. You gonna mix your colors and everything? Right? Mm-hmm. And then this way, I have for me my own personal bar of the scent because I like switching. You know, I like switching around sure. my fragrances. So, mm-hmm. Just really, really scrape it out good. Just like with the cake batter. We're doing this before because we're letting our piping set up for just a second more. Yep. Oh, I want to try. Hold on just a second. Okay, so I got this new scraper. Wait a minute, I'm going to try scraping with this one. Let's see oh, what this. Yeah. I got this new scraper I want to try. 
looks like it would be really handy. It's got a sharp edge knife. Uh, yeah. Knife edge. It's not. Sh it, it's not sharp, but it's thin. Thin and sharp. Tapered in the. On the yeah, edge. that's a good way to say it. Well, actually, that works pretty good. I like it because it's wider, and I can get more. Maybe. better or not. Let's see. Hmm. Let me try this one. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it works a little bit better. So then I just scrape it all around. Don't really mix it. Tap it down. And then I have my own little sample bar right there. Now another tip, if you guys have a, um, let me show you real quick here. If you have a glass top stove, what I will do is I will take my hands afterwards and I will scrape out the batter, stick it on my stove, and lye dissolves. That's oh, what oven cleaner is. is that's lye. right. That's right. Oven cleaner is lye. And so I just let it sit on there and then my oven gets really clean or my stove top gets really so clean. And you're not worried about the glass getting etched mm -hmm. or anything like that? No, it doesn't. So, okay, let me get all this out of the way. Cool the hands. All right, you got your spoon. Got my trusty spoon. There you go, okay. You know, stick it in all there. Right, now, and just... I want a little guidance here. Do I go all the way to the bottom? You can do it however you want. So, I mean, it's just, if you Tires want to are so beautiful when she does I them. do, I go pretty much all the way to the bottom and swirl once or twice in each. Yep. Like this. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then go up further and then yep. you can go back down again if I want to. Yep. Wow, we got 48 people on here. Thank you, guys. Woo that's about what I do. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I would say. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, what I would do is just mm -hmm. tap it in, tap it in, and then shake it. Yep. Just put it in. Shake it and get it even back down again. There you go. Yep. Okay. Now I wipe off the edges, just because when you bring it out, it'll have sometimes soap on there. I plug. use just a clean towel. This one's clean. Just got it. So I just wipe it off, make it a little bit easier. Most of the time. Now, sometimes if it's live during a show, I don't get it done if we're yeah. trying to get finished, but yeah. I usually do it later after the show, okay? All right, very good. Now, just set it right over there. Now we're going to pipe. So, the piping... Okay, the piping is pretty so set up. Now, do you know how to pipe a cake? Well... I haven't done a lot at the net, but okay. I think I can. So twist the end right. and hold it tight, and then you're going to guide with this hand and push the and what am I shooting for? So, well, it depends on what you want to do. You can do blops for like little clouds. Right. You can go back and forth and do like a squiggle. Most people do plops on top yeah. is how they do it. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, so they just go straight yeah. up. And just like flower mm -hmm. things. Just like push that. down. Yep. How big? A little bit bigger. Yep, now do a little bit more. Yep. Should I do four? Yep. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Do a little bit bigger. Hey, Mom. Yeah? Can you come here? Oh, I didn't know she came in. Okay. First time ever here. Yeah, good. Now each row will be a slice? Approximately, yeah. And that's about an inch, yeah. Bob and Carrie say, you're rocking that piping bag, sister. <laughs> okay, so now, 
What you're doing is because you're pushing with this hand instead of the other oh, one. Oh, okay. You're pushing your piping back up. That's right. So we're going to push it down. I was afraid it was going to. That's okay. okay. We'll get it. Twist it. Okay, twist it. Mm -hmm. Now make sure the ends of your, so we're pushing, we're gonna, I just push this Maybe out. Maybe tighter in the bottom. Just a little bit more. Um, both of those are all the wrong ones. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I'm gonna push right here and just get your tight piping bag back out again. Right. Twist, so let me make sure. So guide with your left hand if you're right-handed. Guide with your right let uh, guide with your right, left hand. Squeeze with your squeeze right. with your right hand. And what right? are you doing next? Huh? So now I would go Look. another row on top. Okay, oh, that's okay. Same thing on top. Yep. So I would go in between all of these oh. you just did. Okay. And do another Look, row on top. It's coming out. <laughs> it's okay. So it doesn't matter if they're straight rows or anything. I just asked mom to go get the glitter and I said, I need the silver glitter and she walked in there and brought me three and I was like, uh, oops, those are all the wrong ones. <laughs> so she had to go back in and get me more. Thank well, you, mother. You know You're doing it again. So see what happens? Let me show yeah. since you guys are here. What happens is you can't tell very well, but it pushes. Right, I was squeezing with the wrong mm -hmm. hand again. Yeah, it pushes it back. It's funny how you want to do that. Yeah. Good lesson. But so was, guide with your left hand, squeeze with your right hand if you are right-handed. Then of course do it opposite if you're left. Alright, that's not too pretty, but... Oh, the key Ooh, up again. Let's see! JL says, hi, Mama. JL Gould. Oh, hello, Jen. <laughs> okay. Now, just go back down. Okay? It's okay. Now, it looks like you popped your... Yeah. Okay, you really popped it back up, didn't you? Okay, let's just make it look nice. Okay, so now, just take and fill in any holes. Like, here's one at the end you could do. Yep, there's one over here you could do. Here's one. Just so you're not wasting soap. Looking good. Okay. Looking good, looking I good. I squeeze as much as I can squeeze them in the middle now. Okay. That all out. There, let's check. Nope, a little bit more. You can push down. Or push into push the Push into the metal mm -hmm. on the center there, and you can get two or three more okay. little squeaks out of it. Okay. okay. Now, that looks lovely. Now, we're going to spray with rubbing alcohol to keep soda ash from forming. And I... So, it's kind of, is it you, you, no, you just have to prime you it. You have to get it going. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. That's good. Really soak the top good with rubbing alcohol. That keeps soda ash from forming. Soda ash is not harmful. But, and white it doesn't notice as bad as a colored top, but that'll work. Okay, then do you want glitter? Sure. Okay, so then just poof a little glitter on. Poof, do you put it, put all this down here or do you just squeeze it as it is? I just squeeze it kind of, yep, just like that. Just get some down in there and then, there you go. Oh, pretty. Just put as much or as little as you like. Just want a hint of glitter. Okay. There you go. So Susie has just made her first soap with Tara. <laughs> Guess not your first soap. I say that, but that's not your first soap. Bravo, Sherry says. <laughs> Yay, what do you guys think? Give her a thumbs up. There you go, okay. So now what's gonna happen is um, she has to leave at four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So do you, because you got so to the airport. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get up in the morning, and we're probably going to cut one slice, oh. just so my viewers can see. Mm -hmm. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it stay here until it gets a little bit harder, and then I'll mail it to you. Oh, great. Or, or come visit. 
come visit. <laughs> or what we can do is maybe we could take, we could do more than one slice tomorrow. You could take uh -huh. in the morning. We just have everything all ready. Yeah. And just cut it real quick in the morning. Yeah. Is what we're gonna do. But unfortunately, we just did not have a chance to um, get it done <laughs> sooner. Ahead of time. We kept yeah. trying, but we just mm -hmm. kept getting one thing after another. So I will let you conclude your live show. Okay. I love this tart. I really want to make soaps. I'm going to a homesteading conference in October. I have a table there. I'm going to do all my sewing and crocheting uh, wares I'm going to have to sell there. I'd love to get proficient at this so I could bring some of my own soap too. So that's what I'm aiming for. Here's my first one, pretty much by myself. And yeah, we'll show one more time. Whoa. And we'll see how the swirlies work when we cut it. So I'm I think it's going to look pretty. That. I'm excited about that. Don't forget, Tara is a great teacher. She has that e course that's yep. linked here. Uh, Oops. Click on that if you'd like to purchase her e-course. I know people who've gotten it have raved to me about how much help it was to them. <laughs> so um, I wanted to come and get the personalized because <laughs> I knew you I was, got the I got the one-on-one -on -one private lesson. You got the with you in real life. <laughs> yeah, I did, and I enjoyed it.